This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Hi Flames Nation, we hope you're staying safe and having a great week alongside Ian McCall, Athletics Director here at Liberty. I'm Alan York and Ian, as we kind of dive into this update with you, a lot of things going around with the coronavirus, which I'm sure we'll touch on, but a phenomenal 2019-2020 athletic season is now over. A lot of success that I know you're proud of, not only uh, on the field, but in the classroom as well. Yeah, no doubt, Alan. You know, one of our best years, we had dubbed it the Year of the Flames, and uh, certainly great success. You go back to the fall and uh, our inaugural FBS football season, reaching a bowl game and, and winning that bowl game, the, the Cure Bowl, and an 8-5 eight, eight and five season, obviously tremendous success under Coach Freeze in his first year. And uh, as we transition to the winter, a lot of championships. We won uh, men's and women's indoor championships in, in track and field. Uh, the uh, CCSA championship with our swimming and diving program. And of course, men's basketball capturing both the ASUN regular season and tournament champions on their way to a 30-win season. So a lot of tremendous highlights, uh, many more than that. But uh, certainly very proud of our student athletes and coaches. School is on spring break this week. I know when I'm around town, people are asking me, what are you doing now with a lot of uh, schools around the country and businesses just been affected by the coronavirus? And there's a lot still left to do. So as you look ahead to 2020, 2021, from your desk, uh, what are some of those conversations you're having with uh, the coaches and the staffers as they prepare for the unknown the next couple of weeks, but also uh, next season as well? Certainly a lot of uh, events over the past week that have, have really been impactful and certainly we're, uh, we're very sad for our student athletes that had their, their seasons prematurely ended and uh, just heartbreaking just to have them you know, find out the way they did as the NCAA announced that uh, all championships would be canceled and then obviously the ASUN announced that all spring sports would be, uh, be canceled as well. So uh, very uh, uh, full range of emotions in terms of what the student athletes have been dealing with this past week. Very, very difficult time for them. So working through that, um, <clears throat> working through really our plans moving forward. And as we stand here right now, again, all spring uh, competition is, uh, is canceled. Uh, practice has been canceled through April 5th at this point in time. We'll have a conference call next week to discuss discuss um, any further action, but the ASUN has canceled all practices and all sports through at least uh, April 5th. Uh, we anticipate most of our student athletes will uh, take their classes online uh, through Liberty University through the remainder of the spring. And uh, the NCAA has also imposed a dead period, which means no on-campus or off-campus recruiting through at least April 15th. So a lot of significant changes in the uh, college athletics landscape, landscape over this past week. I think one of the questions, Ian, that started to bubble up in the last week regarding uh, spring sports was those seasons that were prematurely ended and getting a year of eligibility back. Where are we with that? What conversations have you had uh, from a 40,000 foot view of like, okay, this is what the NCAA is talking about, maybe doing that for those student athletes? Right, we had an AD uh, uh, update call with Mark Emmert and the NCAA staff yesterday on that. Uh, final decisions have not been made, although there does seem to be some uh, desire to provide spring sports student athletes with an extra year of eligibility. So we'll see if that, in fact, uh, unfolds. Uh, there could be a decision on that as early as next week, we understand. And, um, you know, certainly a very regrettable situation. It's one that, again, as you mentioned earlier, unprecedented set of circumstances we're dealing with right now. So uh, as decisions are made, we'll obviously um, work with our student athletes and our coaches on, uh, on implementing them locally. Another question, too, we were getting some from fans and just around the water cooler. How is football impacted in this, being that it's not a Sun-sponsored sport, but an independent at the FBS level? So the action taken by the, uh, the ASUN board impacts all sports on campus, whether it's an ASUN sport or not. So at this point, um, uh, spring football at this point has been uh, suspended indefinitely, at least through uh, April 5th. And I think it's unlikely it would resume after that, uh, just based on, on the environment uh, at this point in time and some of the directives about large gatherings and so forth. So um, uh, we were able to get five practices in. That was five more than many schools uh, were able to. So uh, that was certainly helpful. But I think uh, as, as our student athletes, again, uh, transition home to, uh, to take online classes for the remainder of the semester, I don't anticipate that we'd resume uh, spring football practice. What's it been like for you, Ian, from your desk of going through this with colleagues of yours for the first time? This is something that we have not had to experience and really 
I don't say our lifetime, but it's uh, like we say unprecedented around the country. So what has that been like to learn from colleagues and bounce ideas off of those that you work with every day? Well, they, they don't teach you this in AD school, uh, how to deal with the coronavirus. So it, it is something that uh, we're learning as we move forward. And it's great to have colleagues around the country to bounce ideas off and learn what other schools are doing and their thought process. So um, we've been very engaged with a number of other institutions and, and feel like we're, we're making the right decisions and, and handling things in an appropriate way. But it is you, it's unique for everyone. And um, obviously uh, uh, the speed at which this unfolded last week was really the most surprising thing as, as you'd, you'd be watching and the, the ACC was having a, their ba basketball tournament with 18,000 people in the stands and then you have the Ivy League canceling uh, their tournament, others playing in a, a, um, a modified attendance environment. So you could just see the way these things uh, uh, took place last week. It was quite unique, but again, uh, we we're fortunate to have had the Sun men's tournament completed. Uh, unfortunately, the, the women weren't able to play in the championship game uh, with Gulf Coast uh, on, on, uh, in women's basketball, and that was uh, regrettable, but um, again, that was a, an action taken by the, the ASUN board. Final thought here, and it's a fluid situation as we talk about this, Ian. Who are some of those on campus, and I'm thinking maybe of a Chris Casola with our medical staff that uh, is giving you advice on how to work through this with your staff and uh, our coaches here? Yeah, we, we are really taking our primary guidance from the NCAA, uh, from the ASUN conference, and then our, our sports uh, medicine director, Dr. Hopright, working with uh, Chris Casola, who uh, oversees our, uh, our champion performance team and all of the, the support services for our student athletes. We're, we're really key leaders in terms of providing us with, uh, with various updates. And again, we think we've gotten excellent information, excellent advice. But unfortunately, again, it's, uh, it's sad news for our student athletes, and uh, we regret that. And as we wrap things up on a brighter note, Ian, again, 2020-2021 season, the, the prospects for this Liberty Athletics program and this university really at an all-time high. So some final words maybe for our fans that are just really salivating for some sports to come back. And they will come back, folks. Don't worry about that. But just a, a word of encouragement for them as they get through the next couple of months is, again, the fall sports will be here before we know it, hopefully. Um, with uh, safe, you know, venues and things to play and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, our program remains on a tremendous upward trajectory, Alan, and, and uh, you know, this, this short-term impact is not going gonna, to not gonna, uh, affect us long-term. So we continue to be very bullish about our programs. Uh, again, we're excited about uh, the 2020 football season under Coach Freeze and, and really uh, eager to get underway with that. And I think, again, 2020-2021 uh, shapes up to be another outstanding year for Liberty Athletics across the board. So we're, uh, we're anxious uh, to get to the future. That's Liberty Athletics Director Ian McCall.